Hey there, and welcome to this is the uh, Tales of Magia, and uh, this is a game. It's a roguelike game, and it's a very fun game. It's very amusing to see this uh, like kind of game. It's, it it focuses more on the detail. This is probably the most detailed roguelike rogue like game I've seen in a while. They do come up with a lot of uh, updates for this uh, thing. It's very clean around the edges. Very, oh, it's it's very good. I will in the link description down below. I will send. Well, I'll put a link for this game so that you can download it too. If you ever come across this video. So we're gonna start a new game. Okay. And everybody knows what my name's going to be. If you don't, then you have no idea who I am. Campaign. You unlock these things when you complete quests and stuff like that. So. Natural ability, merc skill. Probably going to be an elf. I I've always loved elves. I don't know why. Elves have been my... uh my special. So this is a Tha Tha Lord? Tha Lord. And uh I hope that everybody has fun <laughs> watching this. I will only do roguelike. I might do adventure just so that if I die I can like stop playing this this character and but keep it because I might just want to keep it. And uh rogues I haven't picked yet. I'm I'm still thinking. The rogues are the master of tricks and shadow blade. Shadow blade are rogues that touch by the gift of magic. They use stealth. Warrior. I also want to be an archer. Always loved archery, so I'll be an archer. Do I want to be that guy or that guy? This one has negative two strength, one dexterity, magic. I don't want any magic. Negative, negative two. Yeah, this one, this one would be good. But the experience penalty is down. I don't know why. Life per level is eleven. This one's only nine, so it is better. They possess the wrath of the Eternals. This one, grace of the Eternals. So this one is probably like the bad. This one's like the good elf, dark elf, and good elf. Yeah, and uh. Well, I want to set my custom tile. Hmm, maybe not. I I'm just going to look through this quickly. Okay, so I decided not to do it. I think you have to donate or something like that, but that that's just hilarious. So yeah, there is a lot of different stuff that you can choose to be. So I'm going to be an archer. There's a lot of stuff in the uh, warrior. A lot, a lot of stuff. I'm repeating myself for no good reason. So let's play before everybody else gets bored. So, I will explain the game like I have not done for Dragon's Nest because I think that there's plenty of people out there that you can go find to explain the game. Okay, strength. Everybody should know what the heck this is. Cunning, willpower. I think the only thing that you guys would really want to know is these three on the bottom. Willpower. Defines the character's ability to concentrate. It, it increases your mana, stamina, stamina, and PSI capability, and your chance to resist me, me, melee attacks. Willpower defines your character's ability to concentrate. It increases your mana, stamina, and PSI capacity, and your chance to resist mental attacks. Cunning defines your character's ability to learn, think, and react. It allows you to learn many worldly abilities and increase your mental capabilities and chance of critical hits. Constitution defines your character's ability to withstand and resist damage, increasing your maximum life and physical resistance.
talent, uh, it, it has all your abilities, like Wrath of the Woods and all this different stuff, which is going to be down here. 1 through 10, and uh, how you get more, like down here, the very, very bottom, there are some classes that are not able to be picked yet, because they're and they're unknown. You need to go to a uh, trainer or something like that, and then train with them or pay them money or something like that. So anything in red you can't learn, it'll show you on the sides why it cannot learn it. Because you need dexterity, 30, and all that different stuff. So, what I'm going to get is a steady shot. That reduces my talent points because these are talent points. Uh, well, this is class talent points. Generic talent points are the uh, are in different areas. It says on the side over there that it has a class talent point, or if it's, uh, other talent points. So this is still class. There's a lot of class. I don't see barely any generic except for up here. Yeah, so these are classes. Still class. Generic. So, disengage. Which does... So it travels, so it jumps away three to four grids from your target. I'm probably going to buy that, that one, because I don't want to be stuck in a corner. Quick recovery, can't, well, I don't know if I want to use it or not. It does help me regenerate stamina faster, but <laughs> I probably want to get something that will just completely demolish everything. So, this is a flame shot. So, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Flare. Summary, just shows your character. Everything looks good. So, I'll get out of there. I want to accept these. Welcome to Fisher Boy. You are a Thalorn, the elf race closest to nature. Your people have lived thousands of years in the forest, rarely taking part in the events of the outside world. Yet when their home is threatened, the Thalmor elves can prove to be a fearsome combatant. You live a peaceful life deep in the forest for many years, but lately you've grown restless and just have decided to step into the world. You have decided to venture into the old and wild places, looking for ancient treasures and glory. You've come to the western side of the Thalmor forest, to the lair of Norgos. Norgos was a steadfast ally of the Thalmor protecting the western border, but lately he's grown corrupt, even attacking the Thalmor. To the east of Shatterer, where the Thalmor capital lies a dark part of the woods. Ever since the spell blaze, this area has been corrupt. The wildlife has been transformed. After the days of travel, you found Norgos's lair and entered it. What will you find there? There we go. Now I'm over here. My health is 114. It shows anything that you put your cursor on should light up. Even the ground. It says rocky ground. The G is kind of cut off, but you could probably compensate. I'm going to do the old-fashioned style by using the uh, numpad over here. 1 through 9. And start walking. Ugh. This is not a good position I'm in right now. I'm going to have to beat my way through it. As you can see, my health is on the bottom, same as the wolves. I killed it. But that was a lot of health taken. So I'm in the woods right now. What is this? A linen wizard's hat. I'll take it. I am new to this, just to tell everyone. I, I, I will show you the person that was supposedly the person that I learned it off of so far. So, his name is 1F Jeff, or Jeff Major. I, right now I'm going to warn you that if you do not want to hear swearing in any videos, do not go to him. He swears crazily, but he's a very nice dude. He takes swearing as if it was just a regular talking thing. It, it doesn't even sound bad. But if I press I, I can go into my inventory and see what I have. If I take off my pants, it actually shows that I've taken it off. Which is kind of nice, because usually roguelike games don't change your character and stuff like that. 
I have a uh, brass lantern, which can make me see in the dark, and that's it. <laughs> uh, I forgot how to pick it up, so hold on a second. Okay, so I found it. It's pick up items with G, show equipment, E, I, and uh, I'm going to be learning as I go on. So, G, here we go, I picked up the uh, woolen, the cleansing woolen hat, linen hat. So, I'm going to use the shoot ability by pressing 2, and then press enter, killing that one. Shoot and enter again. And then probably... There we go, killed it. There's a little belt over here. As you can see also in the top left, there's my mini-map. The green pixel up in the top is me. Any blue pixels are an enemy. And uh, as we can see, I just encountered a wolf and a fox. Killed them both. Any red pixels are enemies, as I just said. And also in the very bottom is the chat menu of anything that somebody has learned. I am actually logged on to this, so if you do not want to have uh, the little chat bo uh, box coming up in the very corner of your screen, do not log in. That's a good idea. So we just picked up a rough leather belt. Let's keep moving. I don't know why I say we at all, because it's just me here, talking to myself, and being lonely. So, okay. I'm trying to right now may have one of my friends whose name is Chase or Phil as he wants to be called either way uh, he is darn it, I'm out of range he does not he is right now being the talker in the background I'm, I'm seeing how this works does it work or not he's dodging uh, but nope still could not invade my arrows which is good or else I'd be dead. Holy. Okay. Focus on the one closer. Kill that one. Ah, oh, poison. Okay. Move back. Start shooting. Do not want to die here. Oh. I don't see him. Don't know what happened. Just died. Ooh, poison. Oh, no. I don't. Oh, no. I'm gonna die here already. Nope. Okay, I'm good. I'm gonna rest. I was wondering what the heck happened. I should probably, uh, get. Well, first off, I need to get this this insulating iron mail armor of nat natural resistance. I am horrible today. So, this here is poison ivy. Hmm. <laughs> Very poisonous, as you can see. I almost died, and this, and I should probably get a uh, trap finder in my next level update. Oh, yep, everything's ready to. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna use everything I have here. Bulk up. Start shooting. Ogres are probably going to be the easiest monster I face. There we go. Mold. Also mold. Dodging my attacks. There we go. He couldn't dodge it that long. Just take out everything with ease. Ooh, some uh, money. Magical staff. I'll take that. 
Sometimes I wonder why people just don't pick up everything. Like, I, I could understand because they just have a, uh, a hindrance about amount of... that you can hold. You have a certain amount that you can hold or else you just go overboard. And each one... So, a great sword. I can wear it, but that would take away my... Uh, bow. So, also I got this uh, very nice magic staff. A rough belt I could probably wear. I just will wear it, just for the heck of it. Just to show for some reason. So I need talent armor training to wear this. And I have an orb of scarring. Searing? Searing. Orb of searing. I have to tell you right now, I am the worst speller whenever it comes to saying it out loud. Out loud. And what happens is when you click on this, and you say use, you get this Elisa of Searing. She will identify any kind of new items that you cannot identify. And then, uh, I'll just say that. <laughs> yep. I am so cute. <laughs> And, uh, let's keep moving. Or I'll keep moving. So, let's throw a little fire. Oh. Take him out head on. Yeah, yeah. Good. We are right now, as you can see in the top right, we are in the Norgus Lair. Norgus Lair? Like, ah. Oh. I wasn't even paying attention, I'm so stupid. Gosh darn it. Get. This isn't too bad. Uh, hold on. There we go. Use that and get away and kill all the enemies trying to come at me. Okay. <laughs> Everything back to normal. I hear some kind of monster. Go. You gotta be careful about around these corners. Kill you. I don't think this is just it. I'm gonna keep on looking. How was I stunned? There's probably something there that I can't see. Yep, right there. Oh, there's a rock slide there. Okay. Ah, and poison ivy. See, it only damages me like three, but ooh, somebody got killed at level 27. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, poison ivy doesn't really hit you 14 damage every second, which kind of makes me kind of scared. Uh, let's cut through here. Nope, nothing. Nothing over here. Let's keep moving. Is that how I do it? Yes. Okay. I'm hoping not to run into anything that's evil or... Well, of course I'm going to run into something evil, but I just hope it's not around the next corner. Okay, so far so good. There's some gloves there. Still have to be careful. Pick them up. Let's go into our inventory. And wield the gloves. There's nothing really else I can wear. I could wear this hat. <laughs> Might as well. Let's wear it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I look awesome. Amazing. Two handed sword. Yep. Just like I thought. Um, there's another sword. Might as well pick it up. I look more like a, arch a magic archer. Amazing. So. Back to the fighting. You guys are no match for me. Until I hit magicians. Which I should probably get a whole bunch of uh, clothing that is magic resistant. Because that's probably going to be the only time that I'm going to need to fight. There we go. Is that different? Let's... How do I compare it again? I'm trying to remember how to compare. Control to compare, there we go. Okay. Accuracy is 
not as good. It's at zero. So this one's at ten. This one only has one armor. So yeah, not as good. Go. Yeah, level up. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this hat first. Go into inventory. This one is... Let's see how different it is. There is some poison immunity, disease immunity. So, there's a lot of things that won't be on this, but there is a change resistance. Armor is the same. I don't know. There's not really that much of a distance, a difference. Ah, uh, I might as well. It's only resistance, like point uh, or five percent. It's not that bad, but it's still not good enough. So let's go into our player. Can't remember. Gosh darn it. Nope, that's not it. Resting. If you press R, you rest. I'm in the middle of pressing buttons. Passive default. I forgot what that meant. Uh, switch weapons. No. Okay, back to that. Okay, good. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, pressing Z makes you run around randomly until you find a monster, I think. Okay, that's good. Okay, and uh, level up. Do I press this button? No. <laughs> Flare. Wait, what is that? What do I have to like press to actually do it? Uh, what did I do? What change? What? No, I don't accept these changes. Can I? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Such. I'm just going around randomly clicking buttons. No. No. Do I click this? I'm so confused. Yep. Okay. It just was taking a long time. Okay. So. You should probably update string, I think. Yeah, I'll update strength. I'll update that. And that one will be updated. <laughs> now on to talents. I don't know why this is going so slow. So, Wrath of the Woods. It is... Calls upon the power of Eternals, in increasing all damage by 8% and reducing all damage taken by 8% for 5 turns. This one will... Uh, I'll upgrade it. So now it's higher and faster and stronger. And now to class. Now what to use for class? Yeah. Bow mastery. That's it. Yes, I do accept these changes, and let's go over here and grab this rock. There we go. It is a psychic, a psychic regeneration infusion. Heals. Let's uh, let's grab it. Look at it. Ah. Uh, heals yourself for 119 life over five turns. It is an activated uh, type of infusion or scroll. There's only it can be used to inscribe your skin with the infusion. Uh, I don't know if I want to use this or not because I'm scared if it's gonna take uh, like mana to use because I don't know if it will. It says it. It says that it's. Infusion. Don't know. Ah. Uh, oh, what to use? Probably only uses for once. Okay, I understand. Stamina. So I have stamina. Okay. Uh, each physical ability uses reduces it. Regenerates slowly over time. Well, resting. Okay, so I probably will rest. There we go. Ah. Uh. See how easy that is. <laughs> it's a breeze. To 
nice, relaxing kind of game until it gets into the further depth of the game. Oh, ton of. There we go. Still one left. Oh my goodness. Fire! There we go. Almost, I got hit, but you know, I got back up. Focus on that. Seems like they don't want to follow me very far for some reason. Oh, well, because they'll die. Or because I'm just way too quick that they can't move more than just one space at a time or so. This one is Wind Infusion. Fourteen percent to cure, uh, cure physical. Hmm. Activates to cure yourself of physical effects and reduces all damage taken by 14% for 4 turns. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, it is. So both of these are heal over time things. So, yeah. Infused generation. This one activates infusion to cure yourself of any physical effects. Activates to heal yourself for 60 life over 5 turns. Infusion to cure yourself of physical effects and reduce cell damage taken by fortune. Are these both the same? Yep. So, regeneration. Hold on. Quick break. There we go. Back onto the action. It's a tree. Yes, I know. Uh, so, I don't see what that did. Did that, uh, affect anything? Regeneration. Oh, that was the exact same thing, wasn't it? Yep. I'm such a silly person. There we go. I could have just sold that for money. I'll go down here. Nothing. Except for poison ivy. Gosh darn it, it's like all of a sudden these poison ivy that just suddenly pop out of nowhere. And I skipped something down here. Oh yeah, it's a snake that I skipped, of course. The one thing I wanted was a snake. Nope, out of the range. One more. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. So, let's go on to the next level. Very nice little linear pathway. Oh, they do change. I think this is randomly generated, I think. Next level. Yes, I will protect you. I don't see why anyone would, would not want to protect you, uh, that person. Because they get very, very good uh oh gosh right there is the boss oh um do I have anything good that I could probably put on that would protect me more uh it doesn't look like it hmm <laughs> well this is gonna be fun probably the other guy's gonna die though me I'm just gonna run wait what so this one's Infusion Wild. Yeah, okay. I already had that too. Wonderful. So. I'm gonna start shooting him. He's right now at 78% health. And I think I'm just gonna sacrifice the other guy. Because I don't feel like dying. <laughs> so. Why couldn't I move? Uh, okay, I'm going to quickly turn on that so I can 
Well, actually, I might be able to kill him. I'm just gonna start hitting him. Oh, 23 damage, Judas. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna turn on healing and wild. Yeah, I think we're going to win. Yep, there we go. Let's see here. Rod of Recall, oh yes, this is a very good thing, so I'll take it. That is made of entirely Vortium, infused with raw magical energies hey. that can bend space itself. You have heard of such items before. They're very useful for adventures, allowing fast travel. And the uh, tree trunk. <laughs> it's a weapon. <laughs> Requires 25 strength. Crafted by a master, so I'll probably take it. Hopefully it won't weigh me down too much. This one's gloves, I'll gladly wear them. And uh, iron mace of Pendox. So, I'm going to inventory, I'm going to wear the glove, let's compare it, uh, there's no accuracy, just resistance, critical, hit, multiplier 6%, critical chance damage is 3%, I don't know, I think I'm going to keep the other one actually, yeah, so let's carry on. I'll let the other guy go where he needs to go. He's so slow. <laughs> He's in the way too. Gosh darn. There we go. I have to get him out of Oh my gosh, he is he's just getting himself in a load of trouble, isn't he? Oh. Oh, and he died, of course. There we go. He had to die for a good cause. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, it was right there too. Uh, of course. So let's just check around and uh, keep on going deeper. The archer, I think, is the very. Oh, now it's a bone warrior. Wonderful. There we go. Oh. And it's abandoned. Oh, what happened? Hold oh, I should have seen that coming. It was even pointing right at it too. Oh, I'm such an idiot. No wonder I couldn't kill it. That made no sense. Oh, I died. I think I died. No, am I blind? I think I'm only blinded. And I now died. Oh. I could restart with the same character. I'll restart with a new character. Uh, yeah. Restart with a new character.